Weather Plus forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. Well, it's a warm and muggy day around here. It's a cloudy and cooler day on the beach at Ocean City. As you can see here from our live camera, a couple adventure some souls heading out across the lonely beach there <laughs> toward the waters. Actually, not far from there is the center of what's left of tropical storm Anna. Uh, moving across the Virginia eastern shore, just to the south of Ocean City. We'll show you that in a second. Right now, check out the warm temperatures. Some spots getting close to 90 degrees. We were in the mid to upper 80s west of town just an hour or so ago. 86 now in Frederick and 85 in uh, Hagerstown. But notice how it does get progressively cooler as you head south and east, sort of the reverse of what we normally see. Our cooler temperatures are typically up in the mountains to our west, but this time around it's the opposite. Only 67 at Ocean City, 69 is Salisbury. Uh, the dew points are way up there. It's a measure of moisture in the atmosphere. Dew point gets upper 60s, 70s. It's muggy. And look at Easton. They're now at 70 degrees. That's like a, a summertime dew point reading with some tropical air being pushed into our region by Anna sitting down here over the Virginia eastern shore and beginning to drift out to sea. It's just a tropical depression now as it's winding down, but you can still see the circulation around it and the heaviest showers are now offshore. But some of those bands of rain come up toward Ocean City, so they'll catch a shower and some even rotate all the way back to I-95. Here in Baltimore, there's been some rain down at BWI Marshall and points south and east of Baltimore. A couple isolated thunderstorms in the mountains to our west, but the showers, at least for most of the Baltimore metro, will be scattered. A better chance for getting wet as you head onto the eastern shore and down closer to the remnants of Anna. Mostly cloudy then, the forecast tonight, warm and muggy, 60s for lows, wind south at 5 to 10. The normal low tonight is 51, so we're going to stay way above that tonight. Things are going to change, though. This uh, remnant tropical system moving out to sea will be kicked out of here by a strong cold front. Now, that front will be approaching us tomorrow, kicking the storm away from us, and it'll be one more warm day. We may even hit 90 degrees in spots tomorrow out ahead of this system, but behind it, it gets much cooler. This is the same area of low pressure that dumped a bunch of snow in the Rockies as it was leaving the mountains, now tracking through the upper Midwest. And that front will come through here uh, during the day tomorrow. Out ahead of it, we think, eh, well, a west breeze will tend to dry things out a bit. So with some sun and clouds mixed, the potential for reaching 85 to 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon with just a few spotty showers. Then the front whips on through. The winds turn to the northwest. It'll be breezy and much cooler as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Some dry, actually pretty nice spring weather coming in, although it is going to be a little on the breezy side. Clouds and sun mixed tomorrow. A slight chance for a shower. Most areas stay dry, but it's going to be warm. 85 to 90 degrees as the winds shift to the west at 12 to 18 miles an hour. Westbound into the mountains, some cooler air will be coming in behind that front, going from about 70 with some showers tomorrow to just 60 on Wednesday, maybe only in the 50s for highs in the mountains on Thursday. Over on the eastern shore tomorrow, a slight risk of a shower, but getting close to 90 degrees. Then sunny skies and about 20 degrees cooler with gusty winds on Wednesday. Coastal areas, Anna's gone. The showers may pop up again as the front moves across the area tomorrow afternoon or evening, and then sharply cooler on Wednesday. So the seven-day forecast, we get temperatures back to near normal as we head through the middle of the week. But one more summery day tomorrow. 68 Wednesday, 70 on Thursday with 40s in the morning. On Friday, there's a slight chance of a shower, but I think most areas stay dry. Unfortunately for the Preakness, rain chances are going to go up a bit, maybe even some scattered thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. Weekend highs in the low 80s. All right.